Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We've got another bill video to look at. This is bill 14955, which uh, for our Windows inside on the fast ring, there's a phone and PC build. This is the, obviously the PC build. And this, there's not a huge amount to show in this one. Like I said, this is 14955. The previous build was 14951, so four builds increment, incremented up. So there's not a lot of changes in this. This time I did get this to install pretty much straight away. Uh, which is good and last time I had to mess about altering the date and I tried rolling back to previous builds and it, and it wouldn't install. The only problem I've found with this build so far is it's not downloading the new mail app um, so I'm currently trying to do that and it's been doing that for a while so I'm not quite sure what's going on there it's only seen the old one because what's one of the things that Microsoft call out in the blog post is the new mail app and that you can open uh, in a new window and uh, you can do app mentions in an email and it will take you up to the top Right, I've managed to get the um, calendar mail and calendar app installed. So I'll show you what I mean by these changes. So if I can start writing an email, and then I can do at, and it brings up the list. So I can do at, and there you go. I can go straight away. So that's the one of the main changes. The other one that they said was you could open a mail in a new window. Uh, we'll have to find the, oh, there we go. Open a new window like that which is good to see. So those are the new features in the Mail app. What else has changed? Well, not a huge amount. Uh, narrator, which is the voice text-to-speech engine that reads out things if you're partially sighted or you want some help with um, knowing where you are in Windows, that's been changed slightly. It's context and awareness now. And that's the other, that's the main change that they call out. They, so there is something that uh, I can show you. Here's the protractor that I couldn't show in the previous video um, and that you can draw along that now and um, it remains visible until you, um, until you start drawing again. So you can start drawing over here and that remains visible and doesn't disappear. So at least I can see that now. So they fixed issues with the feedback hub so you can get into, you can sign in in there now which you couldn't in the past and MSN News and some other things as well that uh, you could sign into, including Groove as well. Um, there are some precision touchpad changes again. I did a lot of work with this actually. Uh, let's just check that. So here's a setting for precision touchpads. Um, they fixed an issue where the touchpad would, mit would sort of not detect the uh, fingers correctly and they fixed an the issue with some of the four finger settings. So let's have a look at this exact advanced. Uh, so they are, there's uh, some advanced settings at that were introduced in the previous build and we've got additional settings which opens up the mouse button. So they fixed a few issues around that as well. Uh, I said they've updated the narrator, there's some TPM fixes. They fixed an issue with task manager opening to the default view. So for example showing more details I normally have that like that and they fixed an issue where it would it remembers that you always have it like that so that's good. Uh, they fixed an issue with USB drives, some accessibility settings. Uh, uh, there's a huge, actually, a lot of uh, fixes. Probably won't, best not to go through them all, but they fixed USB Audio 2 uh, issues, uh, Microsoft Edge crashing, and um, and the share buttons used, and things, and, and a few other things. So quite a lot of fixes in this. If you go on the DigitalLifestyle.com, you can see all the, the fixes on there and uh, see which ones. Uh, if any of those affecting you have been fixed, those are the changes. Like I said, there's not a huge amount on there. It's um, more under the hood stuff. Hopefully we'll get some major, some big new features soon. You never know. Um, but in the meantime, I'll continue with doing our build videos. And you can go right back to our first video on digitallifestyle.com and our YouTube channel to see what the first previews of Windows 10 look like. So thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one.